Hello and welcome to the Magic Minute session on reversing entries in the general ledger. Reversing entries direct the system to post journal entries into two different periods. The system posts the entries made in the GL entry screen to the period specified and then posts the same entries to the next period as reversing entries. An example for using reversing entries is the 1050 electric bill for May might not arrive until June 10th. Entering reversing entry will allow for an estimated expense to be included for May's period as $1,000, but then be reversed automatically in June. When the actual bill of $1,050 arrives in June, it will be posted in June. The net effect is May's financial statement will reflect $1,000 expense and June's financial statement will reflect the extra $50. To enter a reversing entry, navigate to the journal entry under the General Ledger Master menu. We'll key in a date and the enter mode will be an M, so press enter. On the next screen, the important piece is to set the reverse next period to a Y. The batch description is optional. And then enter your reporting levels and the account number. The expense account number will be a debit amount and then the accrued expense payable will be a credit amount. F2 to save the batch. And let's post the batch. Let's take a look at this posting in the report viewer. The first page shows our May 31st date with a May period and our accounts payable is a credit, our utilities expense is a debit. And if I go to the next page, notice the date has changed to June 1st, June period. And then the amounts are in the reverse order, so the utilities is now listed as a credit. If we navigate to the display detail postings for this account, notice we put a Y in the reversing entry column, so you'll notice that. And then if we drill down even further, it will also highlight reversing entry on the upper part of the screen. Reversing entries are also noted in the listing of detail postings and detailed trial balance reports. This concludes the Magic Minute session for using reversing entries.